In this video I'm going to show you how to connect BetAngel to a spreadsheet and there are actually two ways of doing this. Uh, most people are familiar with the Excel tab on BetAngel uh, but most people don't realize that there's two ways of connecting to a spreadsheet and one of them uses this tab and the other one doesn't and I'm going to explain the difference between the two and how to connect to a spreadsheet. Why would you connect to a spreadsheet? Well there's so many different ways um, to use a spreadsheet to give yourself um, an advantage that other people maybe don't have. Um, looking at the market in a slightly different way, creating your own custom charts, your own custom indicators, um, placing bets from spreadsheets will be quicker than a human can place bets, um, fully automating your trading. Um, there's so many different things that you can do. It's the potential is virtually unlimited if you use a spreadsheet. So it's worth having a play around with and starting to get used to it and making it do interesting things. But let's show you how to connect to a spreadsheet. As you can see there's an Excel tab on here. If I click on that, um, you then click on Browse. And the reason you do that is that there are three templates in there. A standard template, BetAngel 1, which indicates single spreadsheet. BetAngel Multiple, which we will use in a minute when we're using Guardian. And then you've also got Charting. And the Charting spreadsheet is an example spreadsheet that you can use uh, within BetAngel. So if we click on BetAngel 1 and we click on Open Workbook, what that will do is open the workbook for us and bring up Excel. So you can see here it's brought up Excel and there's nothing there. But on the main BetAngel screen you can see that there is information there. So in order to get that information across to the spreadsheet you just click Connect. And when you click Connect all of a sudden the BetAngel spreadsheet has all of that information in there. So when you have this information in there um, you could create your own custom view of the market. I'm not going to do that at length now but I'll just show you how you have a blank spreadsheet and then you basically start populating that with information. So we could put that on top of there and then say we'll take the volume data there and we'll take the volume data there and we'll put in the string time and then take the countdown timer and so on. So you can see that's how you can create and link to a spreadsheet from there. There's a lot you can do which will be covered on a separate spreadsheet which enables you to place bets and do other things um, through BetAngel. But that's how you would connect a single spreadsheet um, to BetAngel. Now what you can actually do as well is you can see on here in Guardian we also have automatically switch BetAngel market. So if you populate uh, BetAngel Guardian with a whole set of markets, could be anything, tennis or football or horse racing or whatever, and you select automatically switch, what BetAngel will do is it will switch to the market subject to the criteria we've specified, which is less than 300 seconds that we've specified here. So what that actually does is it automatically switches that spreadsheet over at 300 seconds or so, and you can see all the information is updating on our custom view of the market. So that is how you would connect a single spreadsheet to BetAngel or you connect BetAngel to spreadsheet, whichever way you want to look at that. Go to Excel, select BetAngel 1, open the workbook and connect and then you can start playing around with the market data and the spreadsheet at that point. So that's how you connect um, one market to a spreadsheet. What I'm going to show you now is how to connect many markets onto one great big workbook and to do that we need to use Guardian. So we need to uh, disconnect what we've done already so I'm going to disconnect the existing worksheet and close the workbook down and we're back to a situation where BetAngel is not connected to a spreadsheet at all. If we go over to Guardian now we can start working within Guardian. Now you can see the markets that we've populated um, are in there already. What I'm going to do is just get rid of those as well because what I'd like to do is have a look at um, a soccer match. So if I go forward a few days this event has been suspended. there's the match I was looking for. What I'm going to do is select some individual markets that are interesting um, to me here. So what I'm going to do is put the correct score market in there. Um, what else should I put in there? We'll put in half time, full time, uh, the half time market. Um, we have to put match odds in. 
over and under two and a half, three and a half, four and a half. So you can see I've put all of this information into um, Guardian and that will keep an eye on all of those individual markets for us in the background. Um, but what I'm going to do now is connect to all of those markets, not one at a time as we've just seen, in which case I don't need that switched on. I'm going to connect to them all at once in one spreadsheet. And to do that, I can go up to Excel here. Um, I have to open a workbook, which is basically the uh, Bet Angel Multiple spreadsheet. Uh, we opened Bet Angel 1 before. Obviously, Bet Angel Multiple applies when we want to put multiple markets in one spreadsheet. Then, if I open the workbook, what you can see the difference here is that we've got Bet Angel, Bet Angel 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and this can go on for infinity if you want. It's just limited by the resources um, on your computer. But basically, this will allow you to connect multiple sheets all at once. And um, what I can do here is if I click on connect, what I can actually do is select from a drop down menu which one of these sheets I want each of these markets in. So you can see here I can select each of those or you have an auto bind option. So you can actually click on auto bind and ta-da! It's all connected automatically. And obviously the advantage of this is it allows you to find ARBs or look at place and win markets and so on in the horse racing. But you can see here Bet Angel 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. These are all connected um, under one sheet or under one workbook I should say on separate sheets. Um, and this is how you connect multiple markets uh, in one go on Bet Angel. So if you wanted to compare the over and under to the uh, two and a half to the over and under three and a half goal market and you want to look at match odds against the correct score market, things like that. Perfect for arbitrage opportunities. Um, many ways that you could interpret or use this information as well. So if you want to connect one spreadsheet, you use the Excel tab in Bet Angel. If you want to connect multiple ones, you go to Guardian and connect multiple spreadsheets from there.